Tonight, a Vancouver man says he's doing everything he can to pay his big hospital bill because of emergency surgery, but he was recently laid off and he doesn't have insurance. And now he's drowning in hospital bills and he's afraid he'll have to file for bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. We sent Amy Frazier to find out if there are any options for a patient like this. A lot of people are in this boat, Amy. Yeah, it really is a tough situation. Right now, he's living on unemployment. Still, he says the hospital told him he had to make payments of $500 a month. So I contacted that hospital and a consumer credit counselor to find out what can be done to help him. Just an excruciating pain. It just doubled me over and made me very nauseous. Harry Henry's wife rushed him to Peace Health Southwest Medical Center in March. At the time, were you worried about the cost? I was. From the very start, when they, before they even admitted me into the hospital, I told them I have no insurance, I have no job. And they says, don't worry about it, we can take care of you. Harry had emergency surgery on his gallbladder. His original hospital bill, more than $37,000. I have no job, I have nothing. I would, looking for some help. Harry says the hospital agreed to reduce his bill down to about $12,900. But he says they required a minimum payment of $500 a month, something he says he can't afford on unemployment. And so then I called him again and I offered him, look, I can pay you maybe $75 a month. Well, if, you, if that's all you can pay me, we're going to have to turn you into collections. He says the $75 he's now paying to a collection agency doesn't even cover the interest he's being charged. Very depressing. Um, I'm angry. I'm upset. Um, I don't know. There's nothing you can really do, you know, I don't think. So I went to Clearpoint Credit Counseling Solutions in Beaverton to see if there are any possible solutions. Are there programs out there to help people going through something like this? Yes, absolutely. One possibility is a debt management program. If he were to possibly enroll it into something like a debt management program, we would send letter of proposals to the creditors to see, okay, this is um, his intent. He, it's in good faith, he wants to pay back the debt in full, but you know, let's let's work with them. I also contacted the hospital and explained Harry's situation, and they agreed to take another look. I, I do think it'd be beneficial, you know, if um, he wanted to speak um, directly, you know, with me. And like I said, I can connect him with the right people to um, to talk to. Mm -hmm. Tonight, I'll be putting Harry in touch with those managers at the hospital who agreed to at least take a second look oh, at good. his case. So okay. I, I think he's going to be really happy to hear about that. Right. Also, there are nonprofit consumer credit counselors throughout our area. They'll meet with you for free. So what we did is we put a link on our website. Just go to coin.com and you can find a list of those who you can at least go and talk to to find out what some possible solutions are for you. You know, a lot of people identify with this because you know, you're only an illness away from sometimes bankruptcy. Losing it if all. That, it could happen to anybody. Yeah. Yeah. And even when you have insurance, it's expensive. Mm -hmm. yes. So then imagine not it having it. It helps that you found out who people need to talk yeah. to. That was great information. Yeah, they say don't ignore it. Okay. You know, Thanks, Take Amy. action. Great. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Amy.